So Gary from Snow Patrol joins me here on Radio Scotland. Gary, great to see you again. Pick Galloway from Radio Scotland. Whoa. Great to see you again. Yeah, it's been, it's been a while. Last time I saw you, I think, Tea in the Park. Um, but we have known each other for many years. We have. Um, I'm lucky enough to have seen your band play over the years, countless times. Uh, you're now doing the reworked tour, which mm. must be quite a lot of fun. Whose idea was it? Joe Wiley's Joe does a does a little little noise session in London in the in the Union Chapel every year for a native men cap, mm -hmm. um, and we were just literally going to do it me and Nathan, and then um, uh, and then we thought it's just going to be very very sparse, so we got a whole bunch of people and we literally went the opposite way and got strings and brass and like that little stage in the Union Chapel was full I mean full of people you, nobody could move, you know on the stage and we just we had so much fun sort of reinventing the songs for that session because we had to do new arrangements most of the songs didn't have strings or brass or you know we had some um vibraphones and things like that that just you know this the songs needed new arrangements so we did it for that and then once we'd finished that we thought it'd be really really cool to play that to do that in the royal albert hall or something the royal albert hall then became a tour how do you choose the songs to rework um well we wanted to do like old songs um Big songs that fans have been asking for years and we've been reluctant to play um, because like one percent of our gigs are like fans that have been with us for a long long time i mean let's be honest it's the mm -hmm. people that have been around for a long time are you know as a small amount of people so when you play to ten thousand people and there's you know maybe a, a few hundred people that are that know old songs everyone else doesn't and the gig just sort of takes a nosedive until sure. you play something else that they so do know they and do they know. do love. Fair enough. Um, so we're, you know, we're all about the gig. We're all about the atmosphere and the gig, and that's what we uh, and that's what we've always done up to now. Um, but with this tour, we thought we'll just sort of we'll try our best to 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 to, to get across in the poster and every part of the, the, the thing. We that will be playing. We'll some be old playing stuff. some old songs. We'll be playing some. We'll be playing songs in a way. We're playing the songs that we play all the time in a way that you've never heard before. It's a completely new thing. This is for fans of the band and we play them in small smaller theatres. Collaboration seems to be something that you've done for many years. I mean, you, you've been on other people's records as well. Do you have any collaborations in the near future? Um, well, I've got a couple, of, a couple of new side projects, One, both of which I'm going to record in America in January. I'm in Portland first week of January um, with Tired Pony. Um, it's kind Who's of a, in Tired Pony? Um, Ian, Miriam, Richard, uh, Garrett, Lee, and uh, Richard Coburn uh, from Ben Sebastian, obviously, and two very special guests, which, until I'm actually in the studio with them, I'm not going to tell you. Any particular vibe to the project? Country-ish, country-tinged, right. just taking elements from, from all kind of country music. I'm listening to a lot of Grant Parsons and, um, and Emily Harris and stuff at the moment, and that. I've, I've loved New Country for a, such a long time, and I really wanted to do something in that kind of vein too. So we'll see what happens. But It'll a pedal be a little steel, lighter basically. than New Country. You know, New Country has a darkness to it that is is, is kind of um, is probably just slightly more cheerful than that. Okay. Um, but uh, um, and then a, a kind of an electro crazy ass record um, with a band called Listen Tanks, which. Um, don't know, listen, tanks. Where, where are they from? They're from me. Um, oh, that's uh, yeah, your band, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. And who's in this one then, apart from me and you, Garrett. Northern Ireland? Me and Garrett. Um, okay. Yeah, we've recorded a bit of it already. It's a lot more kind of um, LCD sound system, that kind of side of things. Um, I like uh, the sound of it. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I like it too. I'm just trying to get a handle on it because some of the songs we've written are, are acoustic, but also insane and dark. So they kind of fit together. It's not a complete electro record. We've just had like three or four electro songs that we've got and then three or four kind of these crazy acoustic things. That, um, so we have to work out whether it's just two different and we start two different bands or whatever. This sounds amazing. So Tired Pony and Listen Tanks. Listen dot 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 tanks exclamation mark. All right, okay. Got to title. get the punctuation right. Yeah, and uh, should have them both done by the end of January, really. And, and how about Snow Patrol then? I mean, is that on ice for the next year? Do I love Snow Patrol. I've left Snow Patrol, yeah. This is this the last is tour, is this it? This is it, yeah. <laughs> it's funny, because once you release a kind of a history anthology, best of, whatever, call it what you will, um, it's like everyone goes, so, is this, is this the end? No. Can you see Snow Patrol performing in 10 years' time? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, 
uh, I mean, I'd like to keep sort of trying to re, re, reinvent it and keep it interesting and keep it fresh because that, with this rework to it that we've just done, it shows it shows that I mean, every song can have so many different approaches 